I'm on there. All right, I'm going to put, I'll make you a co-host. I'll make John a co-host. I'll make Kimberly a co-host. All right, Dave, you, everybody's a co-host. John and uh, Kimberly, are you familiar with the Zoom platform so you know how to speak? Take the um, microphone on and off. Okay, perfect. John, I take it you probably do too. I don't hear John. It's okay. Can you hear him? You're uh, cutting in and out, Kim, on my computer. I don't know if it's just mine or you. It's, it's, probably, it's probably mine. I'm actually using somebody else's computer. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, we might want to reset it or re redo it or something. It's, um, I literally just turned it on. Do you understand it, Farah? It, um, it's a little bit hard. Um, I mean, I, it's all garbled to me. I think she needs to restart her computer. Well, she's on. She said she's on somebody else's computer. Yeah, I just, I just turned the computer on. Yeah, well, that one's going to have to be restarted. That because she can't speak with that one. I mean, she can listen, but well, maybe the person just doesn't have a good. Um, Mike or and um, I don't. yeah, she, I don't think restarting it'll make a difference. She's just on a computer. Well, it will, it will oh. if she the person hasn't restarted their computer. Fair, it does. It was just it, the computer was just turned on. Yeah, she just turned it on. Okay, maybe back away from the mic. It's, 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 it's not going to make I wasn't familiar with Zoom. I just remember the dial-in number that I could call in and uh, just call with a regular landline. Yeah, honey, there's uh, is there a there is a dial-in number, isn't there, or something? Yeah, you've got it on your your dash dashboard and your dashboard on your sign in. Let me see, Dave. No, Brian, you I'm trying to close this one up a little bit and go to your profile. Well, you might come here and take a look, Dave. I have no idea where you're talking about. <laughs> Hi guys, it's John. I just want to let you know I'm on. I didn't want to interrupt y'all talking to Kim. So, Hi. hey there, John. Let me see. Hold on. It's right here. Hold on. Okay, the dial-in number. Now that's a personal meeting ID. That's not a dial-in number. I don't know. Just whatever. Just I don't know if there is a dial. Yeah, right. We'll just do our best. Okay. Um I uh Faraday, uh, Kim, I don't know if you can hear me, but I dialed in with the phone. And Cam, if you've got a pencil, I can give you the dial-in and the codes you can use to dial in using a phone. Yes, please. 
Okay, if you got a pencil, here's the phone number to call. It's a uh, area code six six nine. Six nine. Then uh-huh. yeah, nine zero zero six eight three three. So starting again at six six nine nine zero zero six eight three three, and then there's an ID, and then another. There are two more codes to put in once the phone call goes through. I can give you those. Okay. Yeah, Kim, I, I can't. I, I think you're trying to talk to me. I'm going to go ahead and read you. Once you dial that 669 number, then there's a meeting ID number. And here it is, if you can write it down. It's 315-400-8188. And okay. then uh, it's going to ask you for a participant ID, and that is 54. And Kim, I'm also going to email this to you. So give me a second just to write this down and I'll email it over to you if that's easier. Thank you. No worries. All right, Faraday, I'm going to email this stuff over to Kim. I think she'll have it in just a second. Here. Okay, good. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. No worries. I got, her, I, got her, I got her muted out right now because they speak. Some, they have well, we don't know who to have a person. Hey, everybody. That's you. That's how we set it up. No, I'm not the half person. I'm coming in after you. All right. I got Clark. I'm, I got her muted. Hi, Arvita. Hi, Julie. Hi, Honor. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey Clark, oh, we see you, but I had to remove. I had to um, mute you. You were talking. I appreciate everybody getting on and cutting into your holiday shopping time. I know everybody's uh, getting ready for Christmas in a week. We had a. Uh, a little um, audio issue, so Kim is calling in to uh, dial in number. Thank goodness John is a, a good techie person. He found the dial in number when, uh, you know how Dave throw th- he throws things at me at the last minute. Oh, well, it's amazing technology. Uh, it's great to see everybody, though. I could see some uh, webcams there. Yeah, isn't this a very cool platform? You see everybody just like they're right in your uh, right in your living room, you know, sitting there with you. Hello, Faraday. Hello. Yeah, that's my better. Th- oh, perfect. Okay, thank you very much, John, for giving me the login credentials. Hi, everybody. This is Kimberly Burkle with Ensemble and Destination Vows. I think uh, I think we've gone ahead and muted maybe the participants now because that keeps the um, yeah go ahead background babe. the background music noise to a minimum when you're speaking. Okay, does it, does everybody see my uh, my screen? No. Okay. Uh, we just see your phone number. Uh, whatever one two one two four six zero oh, whatever. Okay. So um, I just want to introduce myself. I am Kimberly Burkle. I am the Senior Manager of Marketing and Communications for Ensemble Travel Group and the Program Manager for Destination Vows in the U.S. Um, Thank you very much for joining us today on this webinar um, to talk you through our Destination Vows uh, program. And thank you very much, uh, Dave and Faraday, for inviting us to be a part of this webinar and um, having Travolution be part of the Destination Vows program for the second year in a row. Um, Welcome to all participants who are new to 
the destination wedding and romance travel industry. And thank you for your interest in destination vows. And welcome back for all of the Travolution uh, travel agents who are coming back and interested in enrolling in the program for the second year in a row. For those who aren't uh, as familiar with uh, the destination wedding and romance travel market, I would like to share some um, very interesting statistics with you um, to just provide some insight as to how unbelievably profitable destination wedding and romance travel can be um, to travel agents. 25% of weddings that happen in the United States within a given year are destination weddings. Um, that totals for uh, about $340,000 in revenue each year. The average budget for a destination wedding for the bride and groom is $28,000. And the average bride is 33 years of age, with um, the majority of those brides being second marriages. Um, another really intriguing statistic is the average number of guests to attend the destination wedding is 48. That actually opens up the opportunity for you to be responsible for the travel of 48 guests plus the bride and groom, totaling an average of $673 worth of travel expenses for each individual attendee of that destination wedding. And um, just as an FYI, the top six destinations in the U.S. for destination weddings for 2018 is Las Vegas, Hawaii, the Virgin Islands, Jamaica, the Bahamas, and Mexico. So just uh, diving into the, to the details of destination vows, um, I just Emma, want to... Are, are you yes? trying to share your screen right now? Because I, we don't see a, um, uh, a PowerPoint. You don't. Oh, um, did yeah, you my share? you have to you have to push share screen, Tim. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, At the bottom, there's a little green button. Okay, hold on one second. Those are such good. Can, you, there there you, go. Go. There Can you see there. it now? Right. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, so uh, as I was saying, I wanted to give you the highlights of the Destination Vow Specialist Program. And our uh, main objective with this program is to educate the travel agents and provide them with the marketing collateral, the education, and the expertise to make them top-notch romance travel destination wedding and honeymoon specialist. Um, some, some of the marketing support that we have for the program is our full, our full size 60 page destination vows magazine, which is scheduled to be drop shipped to our agents uh, at the end of this year. So probably right around uh, holiday season during peak engagement. Um, everybody will have their Destination Vows magazines um, delivered to their house, all ready for any bridal shows that you may be a uh, party to come the beginning of the year, uh, catching and taking advantage of all of the engagements that are happening over Christmas and New Year's. And of course, um, in February, taking advantage of all of those Valentine's engagements. The second form of marketing collateral that we provide as a Destination Vow Specialist is each of our individual agents receives 
their own SEO optimized personalized version of the ensemble destinationvalid.com website. In addition to having your personalized version of the website, you will also have your own profile that makes uh, the consumers, the brides and grooms interested in finding a destination wedding specialist, uh, they'll be able to find you that way. It's all public business to consumer facing, so the websites are spoken to the consumers in the voice of the agent, and um, it gives them the opportunity to become acquainted with you and your services. Uh, the next benefit of the Destination Vows program is all of the training uh, that we make available. In addition to our complimentary membership to DWHSA, which John Hawk, the president of DWHSA, will be speaking about later in this webinar, um, we also have our preferred supplier hosted webinars as well as our Destination Vows Conference. This past year, we all had the wonderful opportunity of joining each other for Destination Vows Conference. And Faraday, Dave, and several of the Travolution agents were able to um, join us. So. Oh. So speaking a little bit more about our print marketing support, um, just to give you an idea of the, of the presentation of the magazine and our business cards. So this year, um, each individual agent will be able to receive 75 copies of the Destination Vows magazine. We are actually in the process of um, printing the magazine now, so please uh, hurry and if you are interested, take advantage of enrollment and you will have your magazine very shortly. Um, the Destination Vows magazine highlights real weddings that have been, um, that have been uh, planned by our own destination wedding specialists in both the US and in Canada. We also touch on vow renewals, honeymoons, and other romance travel um, types of stories. We also give out the consumer reader uh, insight into trending destinations, um, bridal fashion, and other wedding trends um, that are highlights for the year and uh, year to come. Um, one of the other collaterals that we provide our specialists and uh, for those returning, we, receive, we provide um, 300, uh, no actually 250 business cards for each of the uh, travel agents that sign up for the program and uh, if you are interested, you will have your personal destination vows cards printed up, or you could opt um, for a print run later in the year once all of your uh, business cards from 2018 have uh, been depleted. You can go ahead and place an order for, for new ones for this year. Um, it's just between the magazine and the Destination Vows business cards. It just gives you some credibility and uh, identify, helps identify as uh, a Destination Wedding Specialist. Next up, uh, to speak about the digital marketing support. And I am actually extremely excited to share some details with you on a brand new lead generation program that we are currently in the middle of testing um, to hopefully roll out with great success for 2019. And at the foundation of that lead generation testing is the Destination Vows Facebook page, Instagram, and uh, Pinterest accounts. 
as well as directing all uh, traffic to our registered destination valve specialist. So here is, um, here is an example of the personalization of the website. And uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to uh, give me a buzz or send me an email. And I would be very interested and absolutely helpful to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Um, some insight as far as building your profiles. I uh, provide each individual specialist with uh, some profiles, some basic industry profile questions that gives some insight and gives the agent opportunity to, um, to give some detail on their experience and their travel ambitions and, and experience and uh, tell some secrets, tricks to the trade of all of the things that make destination weddings and romance travel so special to them. Here you see an example of the homepage of destinationvows.com, as well as an example of uh, a specialist profile. And um, last but not least, some, some additional detail on all of the training and support. I am definitely not gonna steal John's thunder, uh, so I will just top line, um, highlight that Destination Vows provides a complimentary annual membership to this wonderful organization. And um, in addition, we also provide, like I mentioned, supplier hosted webinars, the Destination Vows um, FAM, and um, something else that we did for the first time in 2018 is we had a 10 week, social media webinar series that we invited all of our Destination Vow specialists to attend. Um, and it focused on social media marketing for each of the major uh, social media outlets, including Facebook and uh, Instagram and Pinterest and other media outlets. And this again just highlights uh, some of the details. Actually, all of the de all of the highlights that I mentioned in today's webinar. And um, at the bottom of the page, you can see that my contact information and my email address is k Burkle b u e r k l e um, at ensembletravel.com. And my phone number is 212-545-7460, extension 2256. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or uh, give me a, a buzz, and I'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Without further ado, I am going to introduce John Hawks, the president of DWHSA to take the webinar the rest of the way. Thank you. All right, uh, Kim, thanks. Uh, let me share my screen here and uh, see if we can get this right. All right, uh, so Faraday, I'm, uh, I'm now beginning to show my slide. I think it's full screen, but if it's not, if you guys have any tech problems seeing the screen, just let me know audibly if you would and I can try to fix it. Looks good. All right. Thank you. Well, listen, again, thanks to uh, Faraday and Dave for uh, carving out some time for us to talk to you guys. It's a week roughly before Christmas, so let me run through what's here very quickly. Uh, I uh, emailed just a little bit ago a link to Faraday that she can share with you if you want a copy of the slides today. So some of the stuff you're going to see on the slides following, you don't have to take a lot of notes on. Faraday and Dave can share a link with you. And uh, here we go. A as Kim mentioned, a big benefit of being part of Ensemble's Destination Vows program is they're actually the only travel agent group out there. 
that uh, fully subsidizes membership in DWHSA for all the agents taking part in their program. So uh, you can see the numbers there. Basically, it's going to end up being $250 to $300 worth a year of dues that they're paying automatically because you're part of their program. But I want to show you real quickly um, what's included in that. Of course, there's a logo. We do encourage all members to use the logo on your website, put it on your business card. Uh, we have a, a page on our public site at dwhsa.com that you can link to to explain to your clients and prospects if they see your, this logo on your website, for example. They can click the logo and it'll take them to a page on our public site that explains that you as a professional travel advisor are a member of DWHSA and why that's important to them, that why they can trust you with their wedding, their honeymoon, and so on. And as I go through the rest of the slides, let me make one big point. All the stuff we talk about all year long, destinations and suppliers and how much fun it is to go to all these places, all that's great, but at the end of the day, if we're not productive, and making the most of our time and making sales and collecting commissions. I don't know about you guys, uh, but after a while, the fun fades away if you're not making any money selling travel. So a lot of what we try to do with DWHSA is to give you some tools and support so you can bring more sales in. And I was very fortunate last year, earlier this year, to uh, uh, have the chance to come see many of you guys at the Travolution University, your conference in Jacksonville. And I was very impressed with the high quality of the agents who are part of this group. So I just want to reassure you for next year, as we've done this year and years past, our focus is to give you stuff, give you things, give you training that will help you make more money. Because we don't do that. Faraday's group, Kim's group, my group, if we don't help you make more money selling travel, romance travel in this case, then uh, this is all for, with no purpose. So let me show you a couple of things here that you can use right away. We have a members only website. You can log in and you see the screenshot there. We have a training area. We have a resource area. Training, we're going to talk about in a minute. The resource center area, you see there in the middle of the slide, we've collected from our 940 odd members all around the USA, Canada, and a couple other countries. We've collected sample forms, client questionnaires, client agreements. Uh, timeshare warnings, if you're going to send them to a resort, you don't want them to buy the timeshare club membership so they'll never book with you again. We've collected lots of samples in there. That alone, you could spend a half of an afternoon just in there going through and pulling out samples that other members have said, here's what I'm using in my business. I'm going to contribute it to the group. You can take it and use it as is. You can combine it with other samples and make your own. So you'll find a lot of stuff on our website, and that's members only, of course. Then we also have a members-only Facebook group. You can't even search for it in Facebook. It does not come up in searches. It's what Facebook calls a secret closed group. We have uh, like 850 of our 940 members are part of the group. And 24-7, 365, it's busy with people asking about a resort, who's been on this cruise ship. I've got a problem with the bride. I don't know what to do. So if you're a solopreneur especially and you're working on your own all the time, you don't have anybody at the desk next to you in a storefront agency to turn around and say, hey, Steve, hey, Sally, what do I do about this? What do you know about this? You can go in the Facebook group and you've got almost 900 other members who could say, yes, I've been to that resort. Yes, I've dealt with that type of bride problem and here's what you can do. We are going up, we were doing two webinars a week this year. We're going to three webinars a week uh, starting in January. So we do a lot of webinars with suppliers, with tourism offices, or on different marketing and management topics. Uh, usually Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, although that, that may change as far as speaker availability. But we also record all the webinars we do. Uh, and then we post them in a training library in the members only website. So we have webinars going back several years. You can go back and find uh, webinars on just about any destination or topic you're looking for. And you don't even have to watch the video, you can download the handouts first and look at those and save some time. On top of the webinars, we have a, an online class called How to Sell Romance Travel. There's about 50 odd video lessons in there, three, five, 10, some are a little longer, 15 minutes. You could take the entire course, all 50 odd lessons, and actually right now we're re-recording those. We've been working this fall with the, our education committee, re-recording lessons to launch version 2.0 of the course. So. Uh, 
you, you can pick and choose the lessons you want or you can watch the whole class if you want to. We do weekly newsletters, so you don't have to worry about keeping up with all the headlines and the news in the bridal, honeymoon, wedding, and even the entire travel industry. We collect all that news and we give a uh, newsletters out that give you the headlines so you can stay updated on what's going on. We have our own certifications. You could take the basic level certification and then you end up with the logo that's shown in the middle of the screen there. You have the member logo, we looked at earlier, but you also can then qualify for this certification. You'll be cer a certified destination wedding, honeymoon and romance travel specialist with this logo. You have to take an exam, it's 50 questions online, you have to pass 40 of them. Beyond the basic level, we've got a master level certification with a different logo. So you can just keep going up the ladder if you want more education. So romance travel across the board is such a dependably profitable niche nowadays. Survey after survey has shown that if travelers and couples have to give up other parts of their getting married plans, that they have to cut back on their wedding plans a little bit, they're going to go on a honeymoon. This is a really recession-proof niche in the industry. But inside the great niche of romance travel, there are what I call sub-niches. There are little corners that you can kind of get your arms around in your market area, like LGBT romance travel, South Asian destination weddings. If you're in a part of the country uh, with a Hindu populate, population, South Asian population, uh, these are certification programs. So they're three-night trips to an all-inclusive resort somewhere. Uh, you go through training, not with us. We bring in outside trainers. So you actually leave these programs with a different certification. You leave certified as a South Asian destination wedding planner or as a certified gay wedding planner with these trips. And then we have fam trips. Uh, next year, we're doing Italy, Fiji, Jamaica, a Caribbean cruise. That Caribbean cruise is going to have a, a class on the ship about cruise weddings and honeymoons in general. And then South Africa, and we've got some others like Puerto Rico in the works too. We're doing the FAMS next year in lieu. Instead of having an annual conference, we're going to bring our annual conference back in the spring of 2020. But we'll know by March of next year. So in about 90 days, we'll know where it's going to be, when, what all the details are. We have a consumer website, as Ensemble has its own consumer site. It's romancetravelspecialist.com. And for current members, I know I see Honor on here and we've got some other current members. Uh, we've got details in uh, an online form between Christmas and New Year's. So if you're sitting around the house, uh, Honor, and you don't have much to do, then uh, we'll get a, little, get a little form out to you. And uh, all you have to do is fill out the form and that creates your profile. You put your picture up there and you see some samples in that screenshot at the bottom there. You see a couple of samples there. And this screen shows you what a sample profile will look like. So you've got your phone number at the bottom there, link to your email. You've got your social media icons across the top. You can pick a picture of your own to put there and then a description area. So you can put your bio, your, your specialties, that sort of thing. But to create that profile, all you have to do is fill out an online form. That listing is included in your dues. There's nothing extra. That's part of belonging to the Destination Vows program with Ensemble. You get to be on their consumer site but you'll also have a profile on our consumer site, which is romancetravelspecialist.com. And then one thing we're rolling out next year, uh, we're excited about is giving you some tools that you can use right away to market yourself to more consumers. So many of us get so caught up taking care of our clients every day, putting out fires, and then trying to sell more travel in those odd moments you have. You don't always have a lot of time to sit down and say, hey, how am I gonna market my business? So one thing we're rolling out for next year, we've tested in the past and uh, we're gonna roll it out completely next year, is marketing materials like pre-formatted pictures, images, and maybe some video clips that you can use in your Facebook post, as an Instagram post, as a tweet. And if you notice on the screen here, you've got that picture and you see some blue lined links beneath the picture. We've pre-sized the pictures to match the social media network. So you know, Facebook likes horizontal pictures. So if you click that first link under the picture, that lets you download a horizontally sized image of that picture that you can put right on Facebook. It's, it's automatically set at the dimensions that Facebook says are the best for pictures. 
But then below it, there's a vertical version link for Pinterest. And then there's a third link you'll see there, square version, perfectly square for Instagram. So our, our thought is the week before, we'll give you five, six, seven, eight links like this, different pictures, so that that following week, you can use these to do once a day posts. That's the goal. There's some other things we're working on the slide says there. This is what's included also. Other members who are not part of Ensemble, other DWHSA members who don't belong to Ensemble will pay $99 a year in addition to their dues next year. But for Ensemble DV agents, we're rolling all this into the same membership. So if you're currently a DWHSA member, you may start seeing in the next few weeks some notions, some mentions, emails and newsletter items we're sending out saying, hey, we're about to launch this and there's gonna be an additional fee for doing so, for taking part in this. But because you're part, you'd be part of Ensemble, this is included. So I wanna make sure that's clear. If you're a current member, don't worry when you start seeing mentions that we're gonna charge for these services because you're already covered if you stay in the Ensemble program. So Faraday and Dave, that's it. Uh, that's a quick overview. Again, our goal is to try to give your members some tools and access to each other through networking, where if they're gonna really be serious about romance travel in their business, that they don't have to go far to get the help and the tools they want to, uh, to get more sales next year. Second, John, that, that is awesome. Um, you know what I guess we can do while you guys have uh, John and Kimberly available is if you have any uh, questions, uh, you know, you can ask them directly. I, I, uh, John, I, I think you guys are adding uh, so much additional value. And for those of you that are really taking advantage of everything they have to offer, um, like I said last year, it is an incredible value for the money for everything that you get. Um, just, with the, just with the DWHSA, not to mention all the uh, support uh, from uh, Destination Vows and the additional exposure and the magazines and the social media and um, really is an incredible value. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for um, any questions and then um, I've sent out uh, to everybody, some of you sent me back already, the um, uh, Travolution Destination Vows Order Form. So if you do want to um, renew or sign up for the first time, then get that to me because we want you to be able to get those um, uh, new issue of magazines uh, that are going out uh, like ASAP. Anybody questions? You have to unmute yourself. Wow, John, you and Kimberly just did such a great job. <laughs> Honor, I know you're gonna look good on that uh, romancetravelspecialist.com profile, <laughs> along with your destination vow profile. Yes, I'm excited about upgrading up, uh, it. I, I do actually do have a question. The the magazines I currently have have my old mailing address. So would it make sense to go on and do the gold package again so I can have the correct address on there or do the silver? John, what would you recommend? That was a question directed at John Hawks. Uh, I'll tell you, Honor, I uh, actually don't work. That, the uh, magazines are an ensemble program. So I, okay. uh, Kim may be the better. Sorry oh. about that. Kim, are, uh, oh. can you, are you on? Hello? Hello? Can you, yes. can you hear me? Yes, Miss Kim, yes. This is Honor. The question, <laughs> did you hear my question? Do I need to repeat it? Yes, yes, I did hear. Um, the silver package for seventy-five dollars uh, for seventy-five magazines. Correction is the only version that is being made available this year, but it will have your updated 
contact information on it. So, okay. so your address, your address and phone number and everything will be updated based on whatever you provide Faraday on your 2019 order form. Outstanding. So just go with the silver package. Okay, understood. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Honor, if you don't mind, because we're recording this and um, we're going to send it out to the other members. Maybe okay. you, you and Arvita can share very quickly your story. I know that you um, are both uh, certified and went through uh, John's entire uh, DWHSA course certification. And maybe you can um, you know, give the other agents a feedback on that. Absolutely, hands down, if you're not already a part of it, um, sign up today. <laughs> it's, it's so worth it. The training was so thorough. John Hawks is a sweetheart. I met him in person. Even before I had the pleasure of meeting him at the Travolution University, extraordinarily helpful, very knowledgeable. And when you're uh, entering a new niche, it, that's very important. You don't want to talk to someone that's new themselves. And he was very experienced, and that increased my confidence. And I and it was perfect timing in my particular case because I was already working with five couples, two that were married, two that's getting married, and one that did honeymoon. So it was like right on time. And with all the plethora of benefits and resources and the training, and I love the fact that they record every single webinar because, of course, we can't go to every everything and if I need something you just go to it you look there the whole night and hands down the fam trip was priceless I mean it was amazing to see those beautiful places I mean I'm not married yet but just going to the fam I was like <laughs> the places although it was very fast paced and i loved it and i gave my feedback and things that i believe all of us had a blast it's just so worth it if you're going but i would say this if you're going to enter i just say the romance if you were destination wedding romance honeymoon space be serious about it really um interject love if you're if you don't have the love or if you don't have a love of serving people and making their day or going above and beyond don't sign up i'm just being transparent because this is these are people's lives these are once in a lifetime memories and you have the opportunity to be a part of it so if you want to make a difference truly a difference because you think about it if you're a part of the wedding and you treat them and roll that red carpet out you're going to be a part of the anniversaries then they're going to tell their friends and they're going to tell their family then it's going to just spread like wildfire amazing so i'm super excited about the things coming down the line for 2019 so again if you're not already a member sign up asap and i'm excited i am enrolling every single year that's hands down that's not a question so that's all for me thank you honor and uh you know honor sales uh have gone up so significantly and and i'm just gonna say i think part of that is really taking advantage of all of the training and everything that's offered all of the events all of the travolution universities all of the fam opportunities so uh thank you honor that's awesome you welcome. You got to plug in. You have to plug in. If I, if I get all the information and you say, Honor, this is great, but Honor never comes to the events. Honor don't go on the fam trip. I don't take notes and I don't apply because what he always says in closing, knowledge is power. Wrong. Applied knowledge is power. And I apply it. That's where the success comes from. Wow. I couldn't say it better myself, Anna. Thank you very much for all those wonderful words. <laughs> You're welcome, Kim. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This awesome. <laughs> uh, We're uh, taking Honor on the road with us to, to know, promote Destination Vows. Tell me when, and I'm there. I am there. Uh, I'm there. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is absolutely so uh, it, I, I'm so I'm so grateful and appreciative, and I it, it just uh, it just makes me feel that we're doing our job 
hear it uh, ensemble and destination bows and John it DWHSA. Um, anytime we hear uh, such wonderful words from our members, it, it just reiterates why we do what we do. It, it's truly um, an opportunity to make one of the most memorable days of an individual's life um, spectacular. And uh, your enthusiasm, Honor, is absolutely contagious. So I'm hoping that anybody who who's on this call today who isn't familiar with Destination Bows, um, please hear Honor's words and um, sign up today. <laughs> yes, Kim, may I say this? You mentioned Ensemble. You were part of Ensemble. And my very first experience with Ensemble, hands-on, in person, was this year in the Bahamas at the 50th celebration, anniversary celebration. Just, I'm still blown away. I'm still wrapping my brain cells around what I've seen and what I've heard and the teamwork and the the passion and it was no negativity it was just it was so much like we all say the teamwork makes the dream work but ensemble hands down is first class so whenever ensemble when you when i see ensemble i attach it with first class very organized passionate and progressive because that's one thing i observe well, i love the fact that you all are continually progressing and you're current i don't want to be a part of anything that's stagnant i look for progression and i love creativity and then the skits that they did so you wasn't there i was there girl i was there I, I saw you running around chasing those 50th anniversary balloons. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was so fun. That was so fun. That was so fun. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Arvita, uh, you uh, passed the certification. Could you share just your feedback on that with uh, um, with everybody here listening? Did we lose her? She... Can you hear me? Oh, I hear you now. Yeah. You okay. Okay. Well, I, I can't top what Honor has said, uh, but I can say that through the testing process, it was outstanding. There was so much information that I collected, so much to learn. I haven't been able to delve my, uh, my hands into everything as far as the specialist, but I have some trips that I've done for anniversary trips. I'm prayerfully getting ready to schedule my daughter's wedding for this coming year, hopefully, and able to do that. Um, and the fam trips, uh, I wasn't able to take advantage of because of my current nine to five as well. But it's a wonderful training program and I would uh, suggest it to everyone who's interested in becoming a specialist. They give you everything, uh, again, the websites, the support the marketing um it's all there for you uh it's just a lot of stuff a lot of great stuff a lot of good knowledge to keep in your head that's the best that i can say because i haven't had the opportunity to experience everything else so i don't want to you know touch on that but the training is awesome. It's very worthwhile. The magazine, such a beautiful presentation. The business cards, the same thing, same thing. And I, I definitely will uh, re-sign up my membership again. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you, Arvita. I appreciate that. And then finally, um, I think, Julie, you, you just went to one of the uh, additional uh, DWHSA events, right, in uh, Atlanta. I had to cancel because of my injury from the other fam trip. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you are a, uh, for those of you that don't know Julie, she actually is a wedding planner as a full-time occupation outside of Destination Vows. Mm. And so I think it would be really great to hear your perspective uh, she's already renewed her membership, and as a wedding planner, maybe you can, um, uh, you know, maybe give a glimpse of that uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, one, one, the potential that's available, but why did you choose to renew your uh, Destination Bound uh, membership? Well, um, the reason I got into it to begin with is because I do a lot of destination weddings here at my hometown. Uh, I'm located in Gainesville, and a lot of my couples uh, met and became engaged at the University of Florida, and they graduated and moved away for their careers, and then once they got engaged, uh, they uh, wanted to come back to Gainesville to uh, do their wedding, so it actually, Gainesville actually became their destination wedding, and um, so it presented some opportunity with uh, booking with uh, hotels and et cetera, to uh, generate some extra income that would be separate from what they pay me to plan and organize their wedding. Um, but as far as the training, I thought it was spot on with uh, going through uh, things that you can expect from brides because they are a different kind of client from your typical travel client. Um, one of the things I guess it's from the planner side of me is that um, I know what kind of questions they're going to come up with and before they spend that kind of money to go somewhere I think they want a lot of those questions answered about uh, the process of their their ceremony and their reception and um, what's included what's not and to be knowledgeable of that I think will really help build the trust and building this kind of uh, market um, but I I look forward to it. I'm, I'm going to be uh, participating in a bridal show coming up next month uh, where I hope to have my magazines and start um, getting into the, to the market with other destinations other than Gainesville. <laughs> I, I hear that, Julie. So uh, thank you very much. I think your experience is really uh, really beneficial to all the agents wanting to get into the destination vows. So, um, uh, oh, I just, I, I just want to, I, I just want to interrupt one second. Um, thank you very much, Julie, for uh, returning to destination vows. And I'm happy to announce that Julie is one of the first recipients of a lead generated by our destination vows lead generation program. Mm -hmm. So uh, through uh, a series of qualified questions and strategic marketing through um, our social media outlets, we have qualified and happily passed over um, what hopefully will turn out to be a converted um, booking of both destination wedding and uh, all travel uh, plan for Julie. So um, I am extremely eager to find out uh, and take that journey with Julie as she works to convert the lead that we pass along to her um, as a sale and booking. I'm excited to, he to hear about it. Okay. I, well, I've reached out to her a couple of times and I'm not getting a response and there was no phone number on that uh that inquiry that she filled out it was only her email okay well I'll, I'll i'll follow up with with her and um i'll touch base with you on that sounds good yep it's it's all about it's all about uh like i mentioned the program is in its testing phase and it's uh, we take the good with the bad and we learn and we evolve and work to improve so um, with that being said, I, I hope that all of you take that journey with us and, and work towards a wonderful partnership for 2019. All right, Th thank you, Kimberly. Thank you, John. You guys, uh, this is outstanding. We appreciate you making yourself available to us here at the ho holiday time. I know everybody's got holiday plans they're getting ready for. So appreciate everybody's time here today. Thank you uh, ladies for the wonderful testimonials because we're gonna email this out to everybody and uh, so they can um, benefit from your great uh, experience and, um, and, and knowledge. So uh, 
Thanks again to everybody. Uh, for those of you looking at this video for the first time, um, you know, I, I, I think it's truly an extraordinary value. I hope everybody will take advantage of it. And of course, um, um, you know, that's the best way to uh, take advantage of anything is to jump in with both feet. This is, again, a, a business expense, so I hope you are deducting it. Yeah, in, in addition to the incredible value, you can deduct this on your taxes as well. I'm sure Miss Julie's already done that. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> you know, take advantage of that. It's, it's crazy. Um, let me see. Thanks to everybody, and we'll get this uh, replay out to everybody today. Thanks again, John and Kimberly. Everybody have a wonderful uh, holiday coming up. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.